38 when a one kilogram car moving with a speed of half a meter per second on a horizontal surface collides with a second one kilogram car initially at rest the carts lock together what is the speed of the combined carts after the collision neglect friction okay so let's draw a picture of what's going on we have this car and it's traveling it's got wheels no friction we're neglecting friction and this thing has a mass of one kilogram one kilogram and a velocity of half a meter per second 0.5 meters per second it's traveling to the right and at some point in the future it it's gonna collide with a second car same mass also one kilogram and it has no velocity it's not moving it's at rest initially and when that happens it's a completely inelastic collision the carts lock together right so it's inelastic so it's not like pool where one ball hits another and then the momentum that the first ball has goes into the second ball and it's no longer in the first ball it's not like that they stick together and then they move together so let's look at some point in the future at some point in the future you'll have these two carts stuck together acting like one cart and their total mass will be two kilograms instead of one and their question is what will that total velocity be of the two carts now that they're stuck together what velocity will they move with and it's kind of intuitive you may you may kind of figure it out right away if they're the same mass and the first one's moving at 0.5 and the second one's at rest then it's going to be halfway in between the two right it's going to be 0.25 meters per second and if you have that gut reaction that's intuitive for you and you're comfortable with that then you can go ahead and circle three and that's the correct answer and you're done if you if you want to see the math behind that remember that this is a momentum problem so the idea is that the total momentum in the system has to equal zero unless there's an impulse acting on the system there's no impulse in this problem because the system contains both the first car and the second car so there's no total change in momentum the momentum can be exchanged between the two cards carts but no no new momentum can be introduced unless there's an impulse so if the change of momentum for the system equals zero then that means that the momentum of why don't we call this car a and call this car b and call this um, the total momentum right because this is this is the initial we we'll call that state one and this state two so initially car a has a certain amount of momentum and car b has a certain amount of momentum so that's the momentum that's initially in the system that has to equal the momentum that's in the system at the end which is state two so we'll say that's the momentum of the total because we call this total okay so what is the momentum initially that cart one initially has well at mo what is momentum by the way I'll just do this off to the side momentum is the product of the mass and the velocity right so the momentum of car a is its mass mass a times velocity a what about cart b its mass b times velocity b which by the way is zero right so this has no momentum we'll get there and at the end it's the total mass times the total velocity so the total mass is mass a plus mass b because now they're stuck together and that's times the total velocity so I'll just call that v sub t that, and that's ultimately what we want to find and now we can go ahead and make our substitutions mass a times velocity a is one kilogram times 0.5 meters per second and then mass b is also a kilogram but velocity b is zero so there's no momentum which makes sense this isn't moving so it doesn't have any momentum velocity b equals zero so we can just leave that whole term out and then that equals mass a plus mass b let me actually write down what those are so that's one kilogram and one kilogram right so that's two kilograms times velocity t 
the total velocity at the end, which is what we want. And now we can solve, because we have only one variable that we don't know, and we know everything else. So let me just jump up here. One kilogram times half a meter per second is 0.5 kilogram meters per second. And that's equal to 2 kilograms times VT. And now we want to solve for VT, so we're going to divide by 2 kilograms on both sides. And VT equals 0.5 divided by 2 with the units of meters per second. And of course, uh, half of 0.5 is 0.25 meters per second. And we get the same answer. So hopefully that process is relatively intuitive for you and you're able to kind of just use the idea that the total momentum that there is to go around, the velocity is going to end up being halved because the system is twice as massive when the two blocks are combined. But these momentum problems come in a lot of different forms and I want to make sure you're comfortable starting from the idea that you know the momentum in a system can't change and then breaking that down into the momentum of the different components making those substitutions plugging in the numbers and doing the algebra to solve for the answer this way as well in case you get a more complicated version of a of a momentum problem like this